In BibleWorks 10, there is morphology color tagging that you can turn on to identify the forms of words in a verse. Just go to Tools and Options, click on Morphology Colors, and notice that there are several presets there. For example, we see for the WTM version, it's at N for noun, then an asterisk for any following codes, and that will be the color blue. For at V, which is verbs, it will be red. So with this preset, I can click down here for Enable Morphology Color Tagging, then click OK. And notice that I now have tagging appearing in my verses. If I switch to the WTT as my search version, and then I show the whole version in single version display mode, you can see it's colored throughout the text. You can go back to Tools, Options, and uncheck Enable Morphology Color Tagging to turn it off. Or you can also add new entries. Click the New Entry button. An entry will be added here. And if you'd like to figure out just what to enter to display a certain form of speech and you don't know the codes to enter, a way to check those is to click here on the command line, enter WTM to switch your search version to the WTM version, then type period, an asterisk for any word, any lemma that is, the at sign, and notice that the morphology code helper will appear. We see there that N is a noun, a capital P is a particle, an A an adjective, and so forth. But let's say I wish to figure out how to color VOB consecutive verbs in the call in a particular color. I can enter the code verb by clicking on it or typing V, then call, and then I see in the morphology helper VOB consecutives here, a W. So I'll click on that. So there's my codes for the VOB consecutive imperfect in the call. I want to reproduce that in the morphology code field under morphology colors. So we've chosen this particular item. We go over here to morphology code, click there in the field, backspace over what's there. And let's replicate that V, Q, W, then the asterisk for all following codes. You can change the text color here by clicking on that button. And then let's change it perhaps to a purple color. Click OK. Now it's set for that color. Now that I've set that color, verb here will override the purple. So I'm going to get rid of that. But let me save this as a new file. I can click here on verbs. I'm just going to get rid of that there. Make sure that your search version is set to the WTT. So if you haven't made that change, type in WTT, hit enter. And now let's look through Genesis chapter 1 here, and we see that Bob consecutive and perfect call verbs are colored in purple. I'll go back to Tools and Options. Let's say I wish to add BNM nouns as blue as well. I'll click on New Entry. I'll change here to based on BNM. It's already set as at noun asterisk and click OK. 
we see there that the BGT is now displaying our nouns in blue. And remember that you can always turn this off by going to Tools, Options, and unchecking Enable Morphology Color Tagging. Click OK.